Well, this is the gas tank that's out of the Suzuki Samurai, and uh, maybe I should just bought another gas tank because it's like work, but who the hell knows? I'm curious if this was going to work. I was using vinegar, and I only used uh, two gallons, and you can see I got, well, actually I got nine gallons or six I'm showing here. I got three more gallons. I'm probably going to add about three or four this time. I did two gallons, and after you're done with it, you have to put some baking soda in to neutralize the acid. And I also used a scrub brush that was taped to a screwdriver so I could fit, get it into where the, um, the sending unit goes. And I was using a pressure washer. And even after I did that initially, look at all this junk that came out of it. That's like rust. This is rust. Now, if you, I'm going to actually link up to look in here if you can see. See how gray it is down there? acts like pure clean metal so I want to keep doing it even at, even the top around here got pretty clean you know that's where the sending unit goes see how it got pure clean metal it's almost perfect I'm gonna put three gallons in it I'm gonna turn it upside down to where um, and I'm gonna seal up the uh, sending unit area this top part with uh, some body caulking so it doesn't leak out and I'm gonna let it give it another week and then after that um, I'm probably gonna hose it out some more with this pressure washer this all came out of it that's how much it, and I already blasted the hell out of this thing before I even started the vinegar process actually I'll link up to the other video exactly where I showed you how dirty this thing was it wasn't just dirt it was like caked rust so after several days of vinegar it works I'm gonna treat it some more I put three gallons in it this time and um, after it's done and it's all rinsed out with the pressure washer I'm using this pressure washer your little one you know Campbell housing works okay and um, I'm gonna use baking soda on it rinse it out I'm gonna blow it out with the leaf blower I'm not going to use press compressed air. I'm going to probably put the nozzle from the leaf blower right over this damn thing. Like I have an adapter so it could stick in here exactly. Blow all the air out. Then I'm using red coat. But, you know, it's vinegar is some good stuff, man. You don't need any special products. See how clean that is? It's gray. See that damn thing? That, it was dirty. As, I mean, it was caked with rust. And all this rust just came out even now, even after blasting it a couple times so vinegar cost you two dollars and 38 cents a gallon so I used uh, just under five bucks worth I'll use about seven dollars and forty cents worth right now and a dollar's worth of baking soda and the red coat the red coat is actually something good for even a brand new gas tank and after I use the red coat this thing will never rust and on the outside I did this ten years ago with uh, rubberized undercoating and rust killing primer and all that kind of stuff it's still good I might touch it up a little bit with chassis saver but um, the outside is still good from 10 years ago I should have done the inside too that's my problem with this thing why I can't uh, you know run it uh, except from uh, directly from the carburetor it's a gas tank it's been clogged up so anyway the moral of the story is plain old white vinegar like this one of your cheapest cleaning solutions going it's not going to eat the metal um, you want to neutralize it with baking soda after you're done and it's going to take out all the rust give it enough time it's a great oven cleaner it does every damn thing so like all these specialized car products that these freaking people sell uh, vinegar so uh, just want to point this out does it work on a rusty gas tank yeah damn straight it works great but I'm going to get this to perfection before it's put it back together you I do it right to the nth degree and that's when it lasts like I did my motorcycle gas tank in 1990 with a cream called a cream product spelled k-r-e-e-m I did it in 1990 23 years ago the stuff is still stuck on there it never came off it never rusted no problem so you do it right it lasts and lasts and lasts so I'm taking my time with this and making sure you gotta let you gotta let that vinegar sit on there. It's been on there about a week, so that's that gives you an idea.